Hello, Joel Marshall here, and this is the second installment of LearnMyComputer.com Mac version. Today we're going to talk about clicking and dragging files on the desktop. Here I have four files. Last time we were talking about selecting files. Uh, that's just putting the cursor over the image, the icon of the file, and clicking once. And then you've selected it. You can see it's highlighted. And then if you click on the one next to it, it selects that and deselects the previous one. If I click on any place where there's not a file, it deselects whatever I had selected before. Today we're going to push that a little step further, and we're going to move the file by clicking and dragging on it. So I put my cursor over the icon just like selecting it. But this time, when I click, I'm going to hold the button down. Now if you have a laptop and you have a trackpad and you click by pressing on the pad or by pressing on a button below the pad, this will be the same thing. You're just going to, whatever you do to click, you're going to hold it down and you're going to then move the mouse or move your finger on the trackpad while holding the button or holding your finger down and you'll see what happens. So I'm going to click and hold on this file. I'm going to move my mouse to the right. And you see there's kind of a ghostly representation on the right of that file. It's just a little less opaque. It's a little more transparent. And that means this is where that file is going to go as soon as you let go. So it won't go there until I let go. I can move it around all I want, but when I've decided on a place for it to go, I can let go and it moves there permanently until I move it again. So again, that's just called clicking and dragging. Now, if you need uh, an idea of how this works that is more in the physical world, think of a checkerboard. And let's say this, is a, this picture of me here is a checker piece and I want to move it diagonally to say an imaginary square up here to the right. I would put my finger on that checker and I would keep my finger on it and I would slide it into that square and then I would lift my finger. That's essentially what you're doing here. This is the metaphor, I guess, of what this is clicking and dragging is all about. Just clicking and dragging. It's just like you're sliding the file around on the desktop. And that's all we're going to do today. This is worth practicing because it is a fundamental tool of using a computer. And I even do this too. I practice when I get on a device that I'm not used to. Say I get on a laptop and it's got a trackpad on it. It's worth it to me to practice moving things around so I don't accidentally move something to the wrong place because I am not adept enough at using the device. So it's worth it to practice this. You will be happy later on and less frustrated if you practice clicking and dragging objects. If you have any questions, please email me at joel at learnmycomputer.com. That's joel at learnmycomputer.com. And if you have any suggestions on things that you want to learn, please send them my way, and I will see you next week.